that's my win um, for the year, I would think. Let's get started. Uh, how about wins for the week, wins for the year in 2022, guys? Uh, anybody want to share? I'm sure you have a lot of wins for the year, but any big outstanding wins for the year? It doesn't have to be SEO or business. It could be anything. How about that? Anybody? Well, I would say for me, my win of the year is getting involved with uh, Rank and Rent. I think it was early last year when I first got started and I was just testing it to see if, you know, what it would produce. And um, awesome. thankfully, you know, Saravana and you provided support and your team you. and uh, I purchased some done for you things and uh, I've seen some results. So I'm excited about that and awesome. have started to expand into other areas. Um, for me this week, the win would be I uh, hired someone on Facebook to set up uh, Facebook and YouTube sites. I'm experimenting with social signals uh, for two of my um, new sites. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing the results from that. Now that I have those up, I'll be using ITT, ITTT, uh, if then, then that. IFTTT, yeah. Yeah, IFTTT, yeah. Um, and um, setting up so that when um, YouTube videos are posted, it also posts on Facebook or vice versa, whichever I'm gonna do. Um, so right now I'm in the final stages of uh, working with someone who's gonna build little videos. Um, and my strategy is literally just to take the content from the website Mm -hmm. and add some motion to it and you know post the videos up uh, and then add some content under it as well um, that has backlinks to the website love it love it you know it, you, you keep on expanding that's awesome yeah you know when once you there's no dearth of opportunities i'll tell you on that you know i mean good good yes yes yes, yes. Oh, okay so saravan i got good news here okay so i i have a friend um, mm -hmm. that does telemarketing here in our, in our area. Mm -hmm. And she tells me that she goes to community small businesses or even biz any businesses. Mm -hmm. And what she does is she looks for GMBs that are not secured. Mm -hmm. And she charges $3.99 to just do something so simple. So she gave me that idea and I said, I know how to do that. I learned that in Sarah Banner's yeah. course. Yeah. You know, if she can do 350, I can do. So I've gotten already nine businesses that I have done. Wow. And unsecured, I secured the GMBs and it takes me less than an hour. What so does, that's so awesome. quick. That is what awesome. Does, what does unsecured GMB mean? I'm not familiar with that term. Um, it, it's, is someone that did not register, they registered their GMB or else they have, they have their GMB set, but it's not secured, it's not locked in. All oh, you have to do is, yeah, so all you really need to do is just go in there, there's a button on GMB that you press and it just, you secured it. It's so easy. It's um, I'm, it. Yes. That is I'm awesome. Also, that that yeah. made my day today. That is like a... Yeah. But look at this. That's not the only thing that I'm offering now. Okay. Um, I am also offering SSL services, which means I go into um, Google. I find businesses that don't have their website secured. Right. They don't have the SSL certificate. Awesome. Yeah. A lot of these businesses create websites, designers, people that create, but they don't know the, how to work the background of the website. So they, they give them this website here, you're all set, and they're not ranking. They're not ranking because they have unsecured websites. So what do I do? I find these websites that are unsecured. I call them up and I go, hey, you know, I just went into your website and I've noticed that your website is unsecured. And I can do this for four ninety nine, and wow. and in, within an hour I can get your, you know, your computer, your website all set. All I need is just the only thing you need to do is find out where their website is platform, where it's being provided, if it's Word, WordPress or whatever, and you find out their domain. Where did they buy the domain? Those are the only thing could, things that you need because that's the only thing that you need to get in. Right. And it's just one little button that you just press. Make the money. And I make $4.99. I've done three of those. <laughs> so you you have three $4.99 clients and a nine $3.99 clients. 
You are the richest woman in your city. That is awesome. <laughs> right. oh, yes, I think she's I'm... the richest woman, are you second richest club? in this group also. Are you using Cloudflare? <laughs> on we could wrong. all do it. It's so easy. It's so are you using easy. Cloudflare to, to apply the SSL or what are you using to apply the SSL? No, I, I go into their platforms. They Every um, GoDaddy gi gives you the SSL certificate free. You know, some of them that you have to pay for it, but they pay you three ninety nine. Why not pay for their SSL, yeah. which yeah. is like nine ten dollars? You, you know, so I mean, it it depends on where the domain is, the domain and their platform. Amazing. So. That is awesome. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. easy, it's quick money. A three thousand dollar Christmas gift to yourself, right? Yes. But yes. It's, so I must give you kudos because. Not everyone's ready to call companies and talk to somebody. Right. And that was my fear. That was my biggest yeah. fear, but I had to confront it because you know what? I was a scared. I was scared of the no. Oh. I was scared of hanging up on my face. But and then I said, I know what I have to offer. And what I have mm -hmm. to offer, it, it, I know and I understand it. I don't care. I'm going to go out. I've even gone, you know, when I don't have a client here in the shop, I'll just go and walk around and I go into my phone and look at the business and I go in Google and I go, oh my God, they don't have it secured. I just go over there and tell them. They give me a check right there. This is amazing. I love it. Yep. And then this is just, this is a million dollar. This is an easy $50,000 a year business. If, yeah. if that, you know, if it's not more, yeah. right? Awesome. From my side, uh, I had a few wins and a few losses also, which was severe, to be honest. I lost my job, which was like the best job in my career in terms of salary. Uh, but apart from that, uh, a few... So why, why uh, were they downsizing? What happened? It was a downsizing. Plus, uh, we didn't have compatibility in terms of the goals because uh, when you are working in an enterprise level, you need high quality link building and it needs to be aggressive in the budget, especially when the competitor is like getting 100 or 100, 200 links per month. Mm -hmm. So I proposed that, but it wasn't working out. So they felt like SEO is not working. Secondly, uh, it was not a layoff of me, but I came to know a lot of people from the marketing and customer support, et cetera, et cetera, were laid off. So it was across the board. Awesome. But um, as for... Go ahead, go ahead. Yes, but as far as the wins are concerned, uh, learning was important for me this year. Uh, I start, if I'm correct, I took the course in March, February, March, somewhere around. Uh, so that was a turning point because for the first time, uh, almost uh, for two years, I was not taking any action. But this year, I thought I have to take the action. And I took the action. I created a website, although it's not ranking at the top, but I added paid advertising to start getting calls. Mm. It also helped me to focus for the next year what I want to do. Then I took a few webinars which were extremely critical from the enterprises or SEO perspective. They were highly focused on Google Search Console audit. They gave me a different perspective. And uh, th that is offered by like Daniel Foley. He's a UK based uh, SEO audit expert. So these are the things. And now I think the networking which I'm doing over here in your community, in our community, I should say, is really helpful. And I believe like 2023 can be much more fruitful for me. Well, 2023 is going to be awesome. But um, though, like, you know, I lost jobs in the past, right? And as soon as you lose a job, it's always like what happened, right? Especially you love the job and all that. And you may not see it now, what happened to me, I lost jobs in the past. Looking back, you know, you always hear the saying, right? when God closes one door, God opens. You won't see the door right exactly. away because you're so focused on the closed door. There are other doors opening, number one. Number exactly. two, looking back, this is all, this has to happen for you to go to the next level. Yeah. Right? I agree. Like I agree. Yeah, every level. Okay. Uh, what, what I would like to say is that, um, you know, for the year, I've learned um, a lot about ranking rent. You know, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm very informative now and I'm very surprised of, of you know, uh, the information that I was able to intake. Um, and, you know, I have about six or seven uh, 
ranked sites right now that I'm making money off of. And I'm able to help a few people in the group also. And, um, yeah. you know, that's my win. You know, not not much, but, you know, it's it's it's, it's working for me. You know, I'm, I'm proud of, of the process. I'm proud of you too. Robert and the is, progress. You not know, only yeah. learned so much and come so much, but he's also given much, you know, I appreciate right. that. Right. 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 All right. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go for it. Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention when you said wins for the week. Uh, the day after the last coaching call last Thursday, I um, just went out in my car and I went to someone who I was familiar with and he was outside in his yard. And I, I, I approached him and Right now, he's, he's he decided to to pay me a monthly fee, you know, and I just so I have two contractors, two people paying me in one city, north north of Miami and south of Miami, for two different GMBs. I forgot to mention that. That's yeah. awesome. Right. Did you right. do a GMB and making money. Right. 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 You know. That's crazy. That's yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I, I probably I'm tempted to maybe one day just have Udo and ask questions on how he started the local business, how he's fulfilling, how the calls, all of that. You know, I've always wanted to do some. Uh, cool. I know because I know at least two guys in the home cleaning slash. Uh, one guy is in the commercial, uh, like janitorial cleaning services. Mm -hmm. That guy makes like 150k a month. Yeah. Hey. And and I don't know if you remember, you guys did a, um, a God wish. I have a clean service that I built for a client, you know. And right now uh, we're on page one, uh, like number ten. And then uh, for the primary keyword, which is uh, clean services. So and a lot of you know not primary on page one, but the primary. Keyword is getting like 450 searches a month in a local area, you know. Wow. So I'm just waiting. I told them I'm just, you know, it's it's right now the primary keyword is uh, number ten on page one, getting a few calls here there, and um, they're going to be paying me a uh, rev share. So I can't wait till they just move up. I need to like probably uh, maybe do. Uh, PBNs on it, or um, a little more to get it up there in the map pack. But yeah. this this is big business, and I keep telling them. You you don't remember I had Gottwich do um, a site for me for yeah, Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. One of their first sites, right? Right, and it's and it's finally like the primary is finally like almost wow. getting close to the map pack, and um, we we should uh, make some good numbers once we get there. You know, yeah. I should, uh, this, is, this is a good story, you know, I I, uh, I talked to Idovu sometime, you know, where I, I want to interview you for my YouTube channel because you were an international student, right, in a different country, and you, you learn as CEO, you start a local home cleaning company, and you're making six figures in the first year. That is crazy. Like, I know international students making $7 an hour because they're international students, right? That's the limitation. And here you are, my goodness, that is something else. You know, that's amazing, man. Awesome. Okay, I'll, I'll share a few things with you on my journey too this year. But let's go. Danny, Vicky, you guys want to share anything? Yes. Yeah. So real quick, uh, yesterday I was at Disneyland with my wife, uh, with her company. And um, I got a, a message on uh, Skype from my cold caller that I just hired saying that he closed someone. So I was like, oh, this is awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. So, so give us some details. So, is this a cold caller calling and closing for SEO? What, what are they? What are they doing? Yes. So, I don't know, man. This guy, I just hired him. He's like, oh yeah, my my job before was uh, I um, I was closing one deal a day. I was like, okay, one deal a day sounds really good. How much? He said ninety nine dollars a month. I was like, you know what? Honestly, I I think I can swing that, even if I get <laughs> one deal a day at a hundred dollars. I'm not going to ball out of control, but guess what? That's 20 freaking deals in a month. That's a lot residual, right? Versus like trying to hope to get somebody at like a thousand. I wouldn't mind these low, um, low things. So I was like, you know what? Let's give it a shot. So yeah, it was his second day and uh, he already got one. He's doing a deal a day, you said, Danny? That was his 
previous job. And I told him, I said, I don't want you to change a single freaking thing. Do the exact same job that you did. I sent them the contract. Uh, mm -hmm. You fill in the blanks, whatever. All this stuff, super basic. What, He's what, like, oh, one deal a day. $99 a month? I'm sorry? What are you offering to these clients for $99 a month? So I told them that I can do their, uh, their SEO. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that, but I'm going to try it really, really. I have a team already awesome. and I think I can swing it. It's going to be just a couple of months of, you know, link building. It's a one-year contract. I was like, you put them in a one-year contract. I was like, okay, mm -hmm. sounds good. Sounds good. And, uh, I don't know. I might have a chance to upsell them. I don't know. I have to think about that, but, um, yeah. no, I just don't want to be, Danny, were, want you, to be were, you, were you saying 99 for the cold caller to do his job? No, no, he was selling it at $99 a month. He's oh, okay. what, to companies. Can we get that information? <laughs> what is the cold caller's rate? Oh, uh, I think I'm paying him six bucks an hour. Okay, wow. gotcha. So I don't know. I'm, I'm looking at this thing long term. Um, mm -hmm. See how he does. I can even give him whatever, like 10 bucks mm -hmm. um, commission. Um, I have my team. We kind of got it locked in low. I, I mean, you know, directories, a couple of link building here and there. I got to see. I told him, I said, do not call like crazy, you know, crazy competitive niches. Just stick to like very basic stuff. I gave him a list. Um, but he said that he had, um, he had success with like restaurants and stuff. And um, yeah, yeah you're, I don't know. Giving, you're giving him the list of resources to call. Absolutely not. He said he's, he was calling from Google. I was like, oh, do he's doing the same job. Okay. I said, do the oh, exact wow. same job that you did before. I don't want to change a single freaking thing. Bring in five deals a week. I'm going to be happy. Where does he? Let's see how it goes. Where does your cold caller base out of? Uh, Philippines. Okay, that's awesome. That's a good deal. Because you'd be surprised. Um, a lot of people from Philippines they do good with calling. Uh, I'm going to make you a little if you don't mind. Um, this Chase, my Chase Bank. If I call them or if they call me, it's somebody in the Philippines. My OnStar, you know, car OnStar, this from the Philippines is crazy. Like big, big companies, General Motors, banks, they're all going to Philippines call centers. Oh, yeah. That's a, that's a good deal, Danny. Yeah, he speaks very, very good English. Um, yeah. I mean, again, you know, he's calling for like five, six hours. I mean, I'm not making a big, you know, crazy money over here. But look, if it's a hundred bucks, I'm thinking that nobody's going to really be bitching about it, right? Where it's not like a huge thing. Yeah. Plus, if I can get these people some results... I don't I have to talk to the person because he just closed it yesterday. I didn't get a chance. It's only 10 o'clock here yeah. in the morning. He's calling in um, in SoCal in California. He said, Yeah, hey, California had a lot of good results. I was like, don't change a single freaking thing. Do the exact same thing that you did. Once you get the dough with a 99 a month, you can build you know, get their trust, upsell them. You can do so much. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I think I should share my story with uh, the other guys briefly. Go ahead. We love stories. <laughs> So a few years ago, like uh, three years ago, I joined Sarah Bonan's group. So, and um, initially my first two, three websites, I couldn't rent them out. I was getting calls, but uh, I got frustrated. So, because I live in Finland and uh, as an international student, it was very difficult to get professional job. So what I did was I used my skills to start a cleaning business. And uh, in the first year with these six figures, I had to partner with a local person. We actually did six figures in the first year, and you I never gave up my dream. First year? first year, six figures, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I think we did like uh, one hundred forty thousand euros. Home cleaning, carpet cleaning. Home cleaning, just home cleaning. Wow. Just home cleaning. So, and uh, I still never gave up my dreams of because I wanted to work in a marketing agency because of the language barrier and obvious reasons. So difficult. So I kept learning more, developing my skills. And fortunately, I got an opportunity to work with one of the largest agencies in the Nordics like uh, three months ago. And that's really a big win for me for this year. And now you, I- You're working with who, sorry? With, with uh, marketing? A marketing agency, one of the largest marketing agency in, in the Nordics here. Okay, wow. In Scandinavia, I mean. Okay, okay, yeah, that's awesome. So now, I'm just getting back fully into into rank and rank right now. And you still so have a for, company? for others, if if you're struggling in any way and you have these skills, try to use it to develop a local business. Believe me, you'll be surprised what you'll be able to achieve. 
Yep. And that's something we're going to cover today. I love it. Thank you, Doro. You know, you, do you still have your home cleaning business? Yes, yes. That's going on and you're working for the marketing company. That's amazing. Yes. Right? Yeah. All right. So this is good stuff, you know, and I, as much as, I mean, of course, I, I try to share whatever I learn, but I learned so much from you guys, right? Uh, my wins for the year uh, is, so all these years in the past, right? I think I started in 2014, SEO, got pretty decent at it. Most of my SEO clients, um, of course, rank and rent clients, I still put up the website. You know, now I have a team, but I put up the website, I get the leads and I find the contractor, mostly the home services. I, I rent it out, right, rank and rent. But my SEO client uh, has mostly been reference. So people from my Facebook group, either referring somebody or other companies, um, other marketing gurus who are in my Facebook group, they see that I'm pretty decent at ranking and then they come to me to white label, things like that. And so recently um, I, I, I decided, okay, we're pretty good uh, at traffic, right? Generating leads, organic leads. We're pretty good at that. And I wanted to see how I can also, I was reading a couple of books I'll share with you all later on how, you know, the second uh, leg of the stool, one is the traffic, one is the uh, traffic of the lead generation, one is the the outbound bringing the leads, like not just inbound, but outbound also and closing it. So over time, I've tried out different salespeople, appointments, such as call callers. I finally, last about a month, month and a half, maybe a month really, uh, have a couple of guys um, who are pretty good, they're passionate. And so we started doing a combination of paid ads, uh, which is TikTok ads, right? Um, which is bringing in leads of business owners looking for SEO, not rank and rent. I'm not doing that. I'm just, just for SEO, right? SEO clients. And then also putting up like a web design company locations, you know, in Michigan and getting inbound leads of companies, businesses looking for web design. And then we upsell SEO. And in the last two weeks, we've closed probably four clients. Um, I think I told you the story the last week or the week before where we even gave a proposal for a $17,000 web design package, 17,000 package one, 22,000 package two. They haven't said anything yet, so we had to follow up. But we closed a $300 client, a $600 client, a $1,200 client, and a $3,000 client, right? Um, and so one thing that I did not have before was a predictable pipeline of clients coming in, which I now have. Okay, and um, of course, all these days, my goal was very passive rank and rent. I did not want to do a lot of SEO client getting. Now for 2023, one of the things is I want to see if I can build an SEO agency, um, a client client agency and take it to the next level also, uh, because now I, I can have people, you know, I have some team also. Before it was just me, I couldn't do the sales and the fulfillment now kind of a team. So that's my, so, all right guys. So with that, very cool. I will bring some new stuff in the course and all that will be you know, watching, but feel free to tag me anytime you need anything and uh, let's make 2023 a big one. Absolutely. Take care everyone. Bye-bye.